Welcome to my quick tutorial on how to export static uh, aerials from uh, a server and then importing them into AutoCAD Civil 3D. So where we start here is at the address ortho.gis.istate.edu. It's a product of the GIS faculty at Iowa State. And this stores all of the ortho images for a number of different years. So I'm going to scroll down here on their home page. I'm going to search for a location. In this case, I'm looking for Sioux City, Iowa. I'm going to go to show on map. And now we're just looking at this um, little image here, which I can export eventually to a, a static format. So if I click around here, I can change my viewport centered on the, uh, that mouse click. So I can go over here and I can change some of the options that I'm looking at. First of all, I can change the pixels of the map. I can make it bigger. There is a limit on this. Um, I don't recall what it is at the moment, but I've just set it at 2000. I'm also going to change the view. It's at 10 meter pixels. I want the highest resolution that they have, which is 1 meter pixels. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So um, this is more of the extents of my data. And this can be um, altered a little bit if we need a, a slightly different study area. Um, we can, for instance, add multiple photos. I'm going to change the type to summer 2015. Now, a common thing that happens here is that I kind of deselects the zoom level when you change the base map layer which is fine if it has the current um, resolution that you want. And before I export again, I'm going to hit Refresh Map. So this is my map that I have over here. It's 2000 by 2000 pixels. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to click JPEG, which is going to render that image for me. I'm going to right click on that, do Save Image As. I'm just going to my desktop. I want to call it 2015. Now, before I go anywhere, I'm going to go back and I'm going to click JPEG world file. Now this will allow the uh, Civil 3D to know where is the location of this image inside of the coordinate space. Now I'm going to move that JGW to the same file location as the 2015 JPEG. I'm going to name it the same way with exactly the same name. So this way, uh, the software knows to look for it and to find that geographic information. And now that we've gotten this far, we're done with uh, that website. I'm going to go to uh, Civil 3D, which is running slowly. And you can see I've already pulled it in uh, from a previous try just to make sure that it works. I'm going to go and get out of this. And we're going to start from the beginning. So where we always start first is making sure we have a coordinate system. Um, I always like to use the Iowa 83 State Plane North for this particular region. Of course, uh, this changes based on needs. So I selected that. And now this pane may not appear in your workspace. So you can find that by typing in map W space hit enter. Hit enter again. So then this pane will be visible. So we're going to go to Manage Data Connections, Connect to Data, and we can see I've already added this data set in there. I'm going to get rid of that. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new raster connection. I'm going to call it Sioux Downtown, and I'm going to navigate to that location on my desktop for the JPEG. When I'm ready, I'm going to hit connect. Now, one very important thing to note here is that my coordinate system here is unknown. And what I'm going to need to do is go back to this map server and try to find some metadata about where is it from. Now, I scroll to the bottom here, and I can see it's UTM zone 15 meters. So I'm going to double click on this unknown coordinate system. Uh, I'm going to click on that coordinate system, hit edit. 
and now I'm going to see if I can find UTM. Now this can be somewhat challenging. UTM 1983 and I'll go here and find 15 which it seems like this is the best we can do. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to click Add to Map. And now we can see it's added to the map. Furthermore, we can actually style this um, image to take on different appearances that we may want. We'll click on Edit Style and wait for this to load. So one option we have is we can change it to black and white if we so desire um, to get rid of color. Um, now let's see if we can change that back. And there's some different things we can do with scaling that we're not going to. However, this is what we're looking for. Um, and this is my tutorial. Thank you for watching.